Mother Carol. You don't tell a lie now because you know lies go to hell. Am I an oppressive type of a husband? Absolutely not. You got to speak, speak loud. Absolutely not. Um, well, what kind of other stuff I can use that people accuse me of? Abusive. Abusive. Am I abusive? No, you're not abusive. You don't love. Not at all. Do I physically abuse you? Never. Verbally abuse you? No. I do re rebuke y'all and reprove y'all. I, I know I do that, right? You're a strong disciplinarian. A strong disciplinarian. If I was a weak man, how would it translate to a woman? And what would a woman do? I'm just saying, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. What would a woman do if I was a weak man? A woman's nature would run over you if you were a weak man. It's it's in the makeup of a woman. Y'all hear that? That's unregenerated. You talking about the mother of the assembly in the world? They will call her the mother of the church. Think about that. You hear what she just said? Y'all hearing it straight from her mouth? And she got her head covered on sideways. Come here for a second, mother girl. <laughs> and if any of these women out there in the world, just show your face for a second. Any women out there in the world, you think you know something? And y'all think y'all got something and you think that my woman is a, she's just a simple old woman that don't know shit. <laughs> Woo! Wait! She'll light y'all ass up. Oh, yeah. You women ain't women. You're monsters. Monsters. Mistress. It's sad. It's completely sad. What is your assessment of the woman of the world today? In this world today, mother. I definitely don't like what I see. Uh, she's loud. She's boisterous. Um, arrogant. Now, wait a minute. I say the same things, but I'm um, a cruel, vindictive, cold-hearted, insensitive man. But she's saying the exact same things I say. Anyway, keep going. Um, the way I see women and hear, I, the way I see women treat their men and the way I hear them speak to them, it sometimes it just literally shakes me back because I've never, I'm not accustomed to that. Mm. Um, and then when they see a woman that is trying to line up with the word, with the scriptures to be meek and quiet and things like that, then she's considered weak. She's considered mousy. She has no mind. All of these. Oh, of really? Things. I will, all you women that have that type of attitude or that thought, let's put y'all in front of mother Carol. Let's just be honest about it. And let's see how weak and mousy and, and, and all this other stuff that she is. I'm going to give y'all a whole new meaning of cut. See, what it is, is that, the, that this generation of women are too masculine. Yes, yes. Too masculine. And, um, and they're really busy being like men. Huh? Absolutely. Do I love you? Absolutely. How do you know I love you? I know you love me because you take care of me. Mm. One, you tell me you love me, mm -hmm. but you also show me that you love me. Ah. Y'all hear that? If you stop doing your, I'll get, but if you stop doing your job as a wife and stuff, what would I do? Get rid of me. There's, there's always others. You see that? And, and most of you men out there, you'll continue to keep catering to them, putting up with them, tolerating them. I'm going to ask y'all a question. If we start doing whatever the hell we want, what's the most high y'all going to do with us? Yeah, they're going to turn you over to your own devices. Goodbye, good riddance, so the hell on. Now, y'all just heard it straight from her mouth. I, I didn't put words in her mouth. Teach Shane sitting right there. A woman of a meek and quiet spirit is a dying breed in this generation. And let me tell y'all this. The way you treat your husband is the way you treat the most high. Am I wrong? That's that's correct. I got you holding it. It's a rock, right? Go to Ephesians 5, verse 22, 23, and 24. You know, we jump around all the time all over the place. I'm just trying to get a... Hey, 
So what are we going to do? Just get rid of holiness and nobody's going to have nothing to fall back on no more? Because, I mean, holiness is dying today. Yes. Yes. Even amongst Israel. Yeah, especially amongst Israel. Mm -hmm. Especially all these camps out there, these damn painted up Jezebel. And the reason why they're out of the way because they're men. They're supposed to know what the Bible says, but they permit them. And showing you there about it, the woman is still the head and running the roost. Read, teach. Start verse 22, really. 22. Wives, yeah. mm -hmm. submit yourselves. Yeah. Unto your own husband. Everybody else's husband. Your own husband. Your own husbands. How are wives supposed to do that? As unto the master. As unto who? The master. So the wives are supposed to submit themselves unto their own husbands just like they would Jesus. That's what it says, right? Mm -hmm. Is my interpretation off? No, that's correct. And when you lose sight of the order of the way things laid out, your issue is not with the husband any longer. It's with the word of Yah. Read on. For the husband. The husband is what? Is the head. The behind. The head. The side. The head. We coexisting. The head. We're companions. The head. In the way. Head. And there's something. So if you look at our bodies, there's only room for one head up here. If I had another head connected to my damn shoulder, they will be against creation. I don't give a damn what nobody says. Because if you got, if I had another head up here, it would be connected to what? One body. If you had another head, which head is ruling that body? Mm, good the Spartans, if some shit like that was birthed, they throw them over the side of the cliff. Oh, yeah. No, I just real talk. There's only one head up here. And we're talking about in this realm and sphere. But there's a great head that's above us all. He is the head. And what we show and what we reflect in our lives down here is supposed to be a direct reflection of what's going on up there. And you women ain't got no fear. The most I didn't tell you to critique your husband and say, well, he ain't this and he ain't did that and he ain't did this and he ain't did that. Most I didn't tell you to do that. Most I told you to stay in your place. Yes. There's no way a woman can do what the most I can do. Read. Well, the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the assembly. That sure is a lot of correlations being drawn here, isn't it? Read on. And he is the savior of the body. So even as, and he is the savior of the body, just like the Messiah is the savior of the body, the ecclesia, the assembly, the church. So is the head, the husband, is the savior of the body in the family. Did I get something wrong? It's absolutely correct. Read. Therefore, therefore what? As the assembly is subject unto Messiah. And that's the problem. Today, many of you women ain't subject to nothing except your own will, your own population, and your coercion. And you do that to your husband, and guess what? You're going to be you're going to be judged on your role in front of Messiah. Read on. So let the wise be. So let the wise be what? To their own husbands in everything. To their own husband in everything. Honey, are you subject to me in everything? You would have to be the answer to that. You hear that? I am the one that determines and decides if she is subject. Not what the hell she say. So all you punk ass men out there that act like you the head. You ain't the damn head. You ain't the head at all. You can't lead worse shit. You need to learn how. And you women need to learn how to submit and be quiet. A woman of a meek and quiet spirit, learn how to shut your mouth. Is that abusive? No, 
Is that bad? It's actually a help because you're going to be judged by every idle word. Every idle mind. word. How long have we been married? Oh, gosh. 35. And I know I'm going to put, I'm going to cut it down between 35 and 37 years. I, so I think I know how to be married. Some of you in marriage, you'd have threw in a damn towel at the first sign of distress. So don't give me this shit. You ain't got no damn enduring substance. So don't tell me I don't know how to be married. Shut the hell up. You know what I mean? And mind you, as brazen, as brass, as bold, and as harsh, everything that you claim me to be, and I admit that I am, she just got finished telling you that I'm a loving, kind husband, not abusive whatsoever at all. What you gonna believe? By their fruits, you shall know them. Is that right? Read on. Husbands, love your wives, even as Messiah also loved the assembly. Amazing. And gave himself. And gave himself what? For it. Come on. Isn't that something? That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. How old was you when I met you? 15. 15. So are you. 15. I was 15? 1953. 15 years old. How old are you now? 54. And we're both 54. That's a long ass time. <laughs> For some of you people that don't know, that is a very long <laughs> ass time. <laughs> Almost our whole life. Man, y'all just, man, just, just, I tell you what, the best thing to do is just scoot down the road. Go on, go on, go away quietly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Bye bye. All right, thank you, Mo. You got anything you want to close with on this one? Well, I, I think that, the, like you mentioned, not having fear of Yah, because it does take the fear of Yah to, and the acceptance of his ways and his wills. Mm -hmm. and his will. Your love for him is what causes you to be able to do all the things that you do. So um, it doesn't bother me what people think, what women say, um, because our law doesn't apply to them. This is our law. I'm a true Hebrew Israelite and just going to obey the law. If somebody says in here, we both look young. Uh that's because we're not a servant of sin. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some people today, they look rough. We kept on, me and JC and Brent, we kept saying that today. Look at these people. We're not a servant of sin. We're not a servant of sin. I guess we get this youthful look. I mean, think about it. We see some people, our age, man, them boogers are rolled up hard. You can tell them that the highway of life has been a pothole. Pitfalls and cracks and every damn thing else. Woo-wee! Man! They said, man, we look young. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're 54. Our bodies are probably 44. Could be 40, so I don't know. You be the judge. <laughs> I mean, people, you know, your family, your natural family, like 54, look like this. And mind you, I just got finished saying on a video, somebody called me ugly. I'm not offended. Somebody got to be ugly and bring the balance. But <laughs> kill me, Harry. Everybody can't be beautiful. No. Somebody got to be ugly. Yeah. Somebody. That's what Brother Ugly said. Yeah. Now everybody, he got it. He, he took the name Brother Ugly. He said, now everybody want to be ugly. Now everybody want to be ugly. I be damned. And that's something you can't even be ugly. Because if people want to be ugly. Somebody said, what is the secret? Uh, they say, Miss Carol. And that's something don't even have. That, that you think, see, I would take that as a slight. Will you take it as a slight? I can't see it. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> here, use these right here. You mean tell me you people don't know English and literature? You would type in what is the secret and then type in MS? Ain't that ain't that out of your world? You should type MRS. MRS period. She might be young. Of a successful man. What we just got finished telling y'all. The, uh, the secret of a successful marriage is obeying the book. We just got finished reading 
Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 through 24. Wives, obey your own husband as the Lord. That's the secret. There ain't nothing masculine about Mother Carol. Nothing masculine about her at all. There's a lot of masculinity about some of you damn people, you women. Woo! Wait! What's this? I just got to tell you, see, obedience. Being in your role. Oh. Jesus. All right, thank you, Mother. Shalom, shalom. You, you people are something else.